If you ever wondered what a long snouted seahorse looks like up close, I certainly have. Um, or maybe you've dreamed of swimming with uh, endangered grey nurse sharks off the New South Wales coast. Now, um, that I haven't done. Well, you can daydream no more. The next best option to the real thing is, of course, to pour over the winners in this year's Ocean Art Underwater Photography Competition. The stunning underwater photos have been chosen from thousands of images submitted from photographers from 81 countries, with nine of the winning shots hailing from our very own shores. Nirupam Nigam is Editor-in-Chief of Underwater Photography Guide and joins me now. Uh, good morning to you. Thank you so much for joining us from... Uh, none other than Washington. Yep. Yeah, good morning. It's a pleasure <laughs> to be here. Thank you. So you're also an underwater photographer and a fisheries scientist. What is it that draws you yes. and indeed others to taking these pictures under the water? Um, well, I would say the ocean is a really unique palette compared to what you can find above water. Uh, there's a huge diversity of life. There's tons of colour. So it's really a photographer's dream and it's kind of the last frontier of exploration when it comes to taking photos and even just diving and, and science. Well, yeah, it's just some stunning pictures there. We can see that um, seahorse there. What does it actually take, Narapam, to capture that winning shot? How much of it is about skill and how much of it is about luck, about stumbling across that octopus there that we're seeing or, st or having a manta ray swim into shot? Yeah, that's a great question. Um, I should start by saying it's not about your equipment you can get amazing photos with any any equipment. Um, but I would say it's about 50% luck, 50% skill, but it's 100% just having uh, the shot in your mind beforehand and hoping that it materializes underwater. Mm. Now, as I mentioned in the introduction, um, some of these beautiful pictures that we're seeing on screen right now hailed from Australia. I'd like to ask you um, about some of the ones that were taken here. The green sea turtle on Heron Island. It's a, it's a beautiful uh, shot. Heron Island is renowned for its conservation and um, its breeding program there. Yeah, no, this was actually one of my personal favourites mm. from the competition. I think it really shows the trials and tribulations of, of what it's like to be a baby sea creature in the in the oceans. Um, and I think it does an amazing job by showing a storm. That's kind of a unique thing that I haven't seen in an underwater photo, but you can actually see the rain droplets from the storm. And that's pretty cool considering that she was in the water. Mm. And it's interesting you say, I've had the, um, the, the luck and fortune to go to Heron Island when I was really little and to actually see the, ha the turtles hatching. And I think what a lot of people aren't aware of is that for, their, for the baby turtles to actually make it to the water is an extreme feat in itself because very few make it there. Yeah, exactly. Actually, I forgot to mention, those are the predators that are swimming, I mean, flying right above that turtle. Mm. Um, those birds can be pretty pretty rough on a turtle when they're trying to get in the mm. water. So mm. it's pretty cool to see both predator and prey and, mm. and seeing what it's like to be a turtle. Now, the, red, the rare red um, frogfish or the anglerfish, um, that, uh, that prize was taken also here in uh, Australia, in Sydney. And I think it, what it shows is... You know, this, this guy's kind of not that good looking. He's a bit scary and, and creepy. Um, but that, I guess, yeah. adds to the, the mystique of the underwater world. Yeah, it, and it also goes to show you what's in your backyard. I mean, there's some really incredible nature underwater. Uh, and if you live in a city, it's, it's important to remember that that's there and that, you know, what you do in your life also affects Mm. Uh, that animal's life in the water. Mm. We know that the Great Barrier Reef has been for many years a treasure trove for, for marine life. There's a great shot of, a, I think it was called the gang swimming um, on the reef. And what I thought was interesting with this one is I'd love to get your take on it. Obviously, there's a, there's a turtle on the right, uh, and I've got no idea what the other species are, but I would have thought, are they yeah. swimming harmoniously here or is there some confrontation around the corner? Um, so this is... This is kind of one of those examples of 50% uh, luck. Um, now, the, the trigger fish in the middle is a Titan trigger fish, and it was actually oh, attacking the, trigger the fish. photographers. So. Yes, they're terrible. Yeah. yeah, yeah. My wife has actually experienced the same thing, and she won't, she won't get in the water now. Yeah, <laughs> right. They're um, brutal. They come from nowhere, and they yeah. just get you. Yeah, yeah. So you always want to be aware of what's going on around in the water. But I know the other two animals were actually not uh, not. It, you know, trying to be in that shot or, and we're kind of 
They weren't posing. (laughs) They weren't posing for the shot. Now, the competition has been going for around 10 years now. How are the photos that are coming in for you, you, which are, you know, in the thousands, assisting with a better understanding and conservation of our oceans? That's a good question. So the competition was started by um, the Underwater Photography Guide, Blue Water Photo, which is an underwater photo retailer, and Blue Water Travel, which is a dive travel company, kind of as a platform for photographers at first. But we've had such a global reach since then because it's really showing us that these photos are reflecting our lives above water. Um, I think a great example was last year, there was a photo of a, a COVID mask that was floating in the water. And this year we have a photo of uh, there was a lizard fish that was smoking a cigarette butt. So it's just really important to remember um, that what you do in our lives that happen above water are being directly reflected underwater. Mm. There, um, despite this last one and how the stark contrast of that is, there's some beautiful shots um, in there. Narupam Ningam, thank you so much for joining us. It's been great uh, to chat to you. Thanks. It was great being here.